dirt bike rider is behind bars, accused of causing a code red lockdown. Police say he was spotted riding near a high school with a rifle strapped to his back. Let's go to local 10's Louis Aguirre live outside the jail with the school scare today. Louis. So, Calvin and Nicole, that suspect has posted bomb, but he is still here, locked up behind bars after causing quite a scare this morning. As you said, a parent dropping off their child at school saw him on his dirt bike with that AR-15. It's just concerning. It's scary. A frightening morning for parents as students and staff at South Dade Senior High School were placed on a code red lockdown. Students seen with their hands up as officers scoured classrooms for any sign of a threat. Cell phone video shows police searching through dark rooms with flashlights and guns drawn. I came running here and then I saw that we couldn't have access from here to the school. It happened around 7 this morning just after the first bell rang. Administrators receiving phone calls about someone riding a dirt bike near the school with an AR-15 sticking out of a backpack. Because of the collaboration that we've established in a post Parkland school policing era, we are able to immediately saturate an area around the school and deploy the necessary resources within the school community to ensure that our students are safe. Sky 10 over the school as worried parents arrived, looking through gates, trying to see what was going on, hoping their children were safe. I immediately came over here to make sure everything was okay and see how close I can get to the school. An army of officers surrounded the campus securing the school. And as the lockdown was later lifted, just two blocks away, police arresting this guy, 23-year-old Christian Edinger. On him, the weapon they say he was displaying near school grounds. And police say that weapon was not loaded. There was no magazine in that firearm. But police also confiscating a shotgun and a 9-millimeter firearm from inside the home where Edinger was staying. He's facing two charges, reckless display of a firearm and disruption of the school function. We're live in West Miami-Dade, Louis Aguirre, Local 10 News. Indeed, scary moments. Uh, Louis, thanks.